finally windows 11 has uh, released and they have not mentioned about any rollout date but you can still check the eligibility whether you will be eligible to get the windows 11 for this what you need to do is like you need to download windows pc health check download app so you can go to this particular link i uh, in the description box you can click over here now this application will be downloaded once it download open the application open the application as you see here let it run now you get the screen like this below now what you need to do is like click on check now now you can see my system is eligible for the new windows 11 update and it will get automatically updated from windows 10 to windows 11 when is not sure windows has not mentioned about any date but you can expect this in early 2022 that is what they have mentioned in their website over below so they have mentioned it over here early 2022 now let's look into one more scenario what if it is showing you that it is what if you are getting this kind of window that uh, saying that you are not eligible for windows 11 update the first thing which you can do is like go to your command run button go here search tpm.mc click on ok so now if you are getting this kind of screen it's better it says that tpm has already installed if you are not getting any screen or you are getting an error saying that tpm is not there then that thing is something worry because uh, you need a tpm version 2.0 for windows platform windows 11 to work so if you don't have this then that is the reason that you are facing pc can't run issue along with this uh, windows has some more requirement like uh, it should have a direct x 12 capability as well so what you need to do is like come over here just search dx di ag click on ok so once you click on ok you will get this screen with your current DirectX version over here so it will let you know what DirectX version you are using and the remaining feature which is required is very simple which is 4 GB of storage and your total storage should be more than 64 GB and your TPM version should be 2.0 and you have a process you should have a processor more than 1 gigahertz of graphics and that DirectX will compatible so most of the a uh, computer fails to satisfy this requirement over TPM or over DirectX. So that's all about this video. I hope you like this video.